Hey friends, we wanted to share a quick little tutorial with you guys for Show It to make your own custom link tree. If you don't know about Linktree, I'm sure you've probably seen it on Instagram. People have a little Linktree account and then they can just have all of their links to their Instagram in one place, which makes it really easy if you have different blog posts or podcasts or whatever you're sharing, you can link to all those things in one easy spot and it's quick and easy to drag and drop and change really easily. The downside is that the free account, everything is like this green um, or you have to pay monthly for it. But if you have Show It, we are going to show you today how to make your own pretty little branded one so you don't have to worry about that. It's really super simple and we're actually pretty surprised that more people aren't doing that with how user friendly show it is to just create like simple pages like this. So Elisa is going to take it away and show you how to do it. Okay friends, so first you're just going to start with a new page. And it can be a blank page because you don't need any of the bells and whistles like you might need for some of your regular website pages like your header, your footer, all that good stuff. This is just as basic as it can get. So we'll rename it Socialize and then you can go over to your page tab. You can start by making it about the height of the screen so you know what you have to work with and then you can turn off your desktop. So you're just working with your mobile because you're not going to really ever need this for desktop. It's perfect for just using as a like Instagram landing page, which is basically what Linktree is doing. So let's rename it to socialize. First, let's go ahead and add a background color. And obviously you can use any of your branding colors. Let's add a little header image. Pretty little detail. Maybe we'll zoom in on that a little bit. And then add our logo. And then I always try to remember when I'm going <laughs> to title everything because if you work in Photoshop a lot, you know that you definitely get lost if you don't label all of your things and it's the same thing here it can get pretty overwhelming so we have that maybe we'll add our little tagline Next we can add a little profile picture so that people on Instagram can see your little face and have a connection between your website and your Instagram. We like to make our little profile images a circle so you can come over to effects and then just do the rounded corners. Maybe make sure that's centered, maybe move it down to the bottom or whatever you want. And then we can create a little border for that too by just creating a new shape, white. And then maybe we'll make that 110 and 110 and do the same thing to make it a circle. Then you'll just have to drag that below. One of the things that I love about Show It is that you can just grab both of these by hitting Command or Shift and you can align them to each other really quickly without having to kind of eyeball it and guess. Okay, so now we can go ahead and add some buttons, however many you want. So we'll go ahead and start with maybe something about this size. Go ahead and just Command C and V to copy that a couple times. And then you can add whatever text you want to have. So 
So you can start with the basic ones or whatever things you've been talking about in your Instagram captions so that people can find it easily. But for now, we can just start with maybe our website. And then you could do latest blog post or maybe our latest wedding. For now, we can do the blog. And just so I make sure that these are centered, I like to make them the text box about the same size as the text so that I can just do command click and then align them so that I know that they're centered. I don't have to worry about eyeballing it. It's great. And then maybe you have something that's not on your website, like a podcast. I want to have a contact so that people don't just hit you up in your DMs, you know? So that's a really basic version of this. You know, obviously you can go through to your click actions and send it to, let's see if it's a page, then it's, we're just going to do our home page. You know, it's the blog, you'll just go over here and go to blog. For a podcast, it will probably be a separate URL. You can enter that in there and then, you know, again, for contact, it's just your contact page. Another tip that you could use or not use, but I feel like it guarantees that the click will work because sometimes when this is what you're making a click action, it's kind of a small field, so really you want it to be the size of this entire button. If you want, make this also clickable to the same page. That's totally fine. Sometimes we will just copy all of these buttons and then you can just make them invisible clicks, which is what we do most of the time. And do that just basically by making this transparent and making sure that it lives above everything else. So then you're only changing your link one time instead of twice anytime you want to change this stuff. But it's totally up to you. It's the great thing about Show It. You can make it work however it works for you. You can stop right here, but the great thing about doing this on your own website builder is that you can make it as long as you want. For example, ours is actually pretty complex. So, you know, we have an opening right here. I'll preview it. So we kind of have a lot going on because there's a lot that we want to share and obviously we're very photo heavy, so we like including photos with everything. But we have some blog images, you know, one of our photography business posts that's separate and some other little things that we don't want to draw attention to. And then we just have a little bit about us, which is always kind of nice if you want to get a little more personality in there or not. You know, if you just want it to be a quick little landing page, it's totally up to you, however far you want to take it. But the possibilities are endless with Show It and we absolutely love the flexibility that it gives us. So. There's a really simple way to create your own link tree page. And then you're just basically going to have your URL slash socialize would be your short link and it's as simple as that. We hope that that was super helpful for you and we can't wait to see your link trees. So send us the link in the comments below. Thanks for watching.